Back in 1988, I bought my first engine, and several years later, I acquired another engine just like it. So I decided to put them together, and I did a lot of thinking about how to make them operate MU with no problems. So this is what I come up with. Okay, in order to get two engines to operate at the same time, MU or whatever you want to call it, I use one stick, one stick operation, forward, goes forward, stop in the center, and then to the rear, it goes to the rear. The cylinder is a Bimba hydraulic made cylinder so when you push forward on the stick this cylinder compresses causes fluid pressure to go out over here causes suction back here you pull the stick back it causes suction on this side and pressure on this side the lines go underneath the car come out up here and connect to these quick disconnects on the engine the lines run underneath the engine chassis deck. They come out here and go to the cylinder to operate this engine. They run along the bottom of the deck here, underneath the deck, and come out over here to connect to this engine. On this engine, you have the cylinder and an isolation valve. On this engine, the fluid runs through the lines underneath the deck. You can see one here, along the bottom, and come out here, just like the other engine. The line continues on to the front of the engine, so you have the same connection here, so you can connect another engine on the front of this. The lines come out from under the deck. You have the pressure and the return. They go to this cylinder. This cylinder has the pressure and the return. When this rod is forced out by the pressure or the return, pulls it back in. This crank moves, which I made, and it's identical to the other engine. It moves, and there's a rod connected to the end of the crank that goes underneath back to the transmission. This allows the transmission input to be changed from forward to reverse to standing still. So the cylinder either have pressure or return or return or pressure depending on how you're moving your stick back there. On this side the isolation valve will allow you to open there's a little of uh, the uh, knob underneath to turn. Open or close this, relieves the pressure on the cylinder, and allows the fluid to bypass back and forth here. When you're operating the engines together, you have to have this closed. On this engine, the cylinders are the same. The bracket, the crank is made the same. As the front with the rod that goes up to the bottom of the transmission. Here's the isolation valve on this one. They're all the same. And we can connect two more engines on the front of this and this cylinder has enough force in it to operate four engines with no problem. So we hook two engines, two more engines just like this, which Matt Irwin has, and he has his adapted to be the same as this, and they operate perfectly four engines. anyone's interested. I'm Dwight Blackburn. I live in
Caledonia, Mississippi. I'll be glad to help. Just send me a message.